Lord. Hallelujah. But this is a dream. And I pray it relates to everyone. And that, that would be a, a blessing to you. It's not a dream I would choose. You know, I like really great dreams and all. But I had a dream, and it was a Peter, the Apostle Peter, the fisherman Peter, the working man Peter, but that became an apostle, and full of the Holy Ghost. That Peter. I had a dream of Peter being crucified upside down. And I did not see. It wasn't real vivid and... and Gory, which it was. But I just saw him there, and I knew it was Peter. And I tried, because I have studied some through the years about the crucifixion of Christ in the agony and the way of suffering and beyond imagination how Jesus suffered and I study how you asphyxiated how they pull their arms out of joint and how to make it you know every possible type pain at one time through the nerve spike and I've studied about that and it is a little seven eight year old boy I saw Jesus not in a clear vision but kind of like this and I saw him crucified and I said, Lord, how can you take? I didn't, I didn't know the Lord like I did now, but I was just thinking. I said, how can he take that? How can he take that? And I said, am, oh man, I'm going to have to suffer like that? Am I going to have to suffer like that? As a little boy. And I said, no, no way. <laughs> no way. And when he came to a vision, I mean, I came to me. Another time or sometime in there, and he said, I want you to preach. I didn't see a cloud, but it's like it was a cloud there at my home in Jacksonville, Florida. My brother had a double, we had double beds. That's a single bed and a single bed. A little bit aisle between our little drawers we pulled out. And I was standing there, and I looked up, and I didn't see anything, but as if I did. And he said, I want you to preach. Up. And and I I thought about it and immediately and I know it was Satan came and started showing me and, and me thinking about because this is the time of the Cold War in Romania and not Czechoslovakia and Austria, all these countries under the Iron Curtain. I know those people were lived in terror. Yeah. They would come and jerk them out of the houses in the night. If they were told on or ratted on, and this is what the Bible says, how they will, all men will hate you and they will betray one another. This is this is that. This is like that because for to save your own skin, you're going to tell somebody you could. No, Tom did it. You know, Tom's the leader. I'm I'm not in it. I'm not in it. I'm not part of them. You know, this is what they faced them betraying one another, Amen. having each other kill. Take their home. Take everything. Yeah. No more life. If they were in prison, in prison sometimes, many times killed. I don't know all what happened. They keep it secret. They keep it secret in China and Iraq and, and all these people. They don't go out and say, yeah, we're torturing Christian. We're taking their business away, taking their life away. This is all done in secret. When you suffer for the Lord, many times it's going to be in secret. It's not like they got a TV camera there to, so people can feel sorry for you. It's in private. Yep, that's right. Indeed. True terror. Yep. This is the Antichrist way. Amen. This is the communist way. This is the Antichrist way. Amen. They don't believe in God. They love killing babies. They they go along with that. They that yeah, we gotta control the population. We gotta do this, we gotta do that. And believe me, if I'll kill babies, you kill babies, you Christian, you kill anybody else, you'll betray, you lying, you're believing a lie. That's right. That's right. That's one hundred percent. Thank you. No Christian 
to believe in killing unborn babies. Where is it written to do that? Where does it say you can do that? Amen. <laughs> That you saw in the, I don't I never studied a lot about the gods. I have some some understanding of Christian history and, and, and the persecutions and, and stuff. I have some a little bit. But but they, there was a god Moloch. The Bible says they used to kill children, sacrifice children, and kill the children in honor the Moloch, I don't know, fertility God or whatever he was, they would kill the children and, and put them in the fire even. Pass them through the fire, yeah. Woo. In the fire to their God to appease their God's wrath and all. Amen. Praise God. Well, now we do it. Let me just give you a little understanding so you can fornicate. So you can commit adultery. So you can do all these. And you women. You women. You can do all this stuff. And now you can kill the evidence. And you can kill the evidence. And you want to be able to be free like a man. Yeah. <laughs> this is not freedom. But you're going to be damn your soul to hell if you don't repent. Yeah. You're going to damn your soul to hell if you don't repent. Hey, yes, yes. <laughs> right. God is not pleased. No. In the 70s, they passed this law, and a national law, said the Constitution allowed you to kill these babies nationally because it still can be done even now. Uh, in the states, they passed the law that people let vote and what they can do or can't do. But they made it a national thing. Roe versus Wade. But thank God they took that law down. Amen. They took that law down. And it's a chance we have a chance for revival. Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord, I love you, Lord. Thank All you, Lord. Right. I felt hope for America. Hope for America. Yeah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Thank God. This is you talking politics. Yeah. The po the Christianity, the spirit, the Holy Ghost. And a lack thereof affects the politics. What's going on? Yeah. Hey, that's, yeah. Right. that's right. And the battle is really a spiritual battle. It is. Right. It's really wickedness in high places. It How is. can we have leaders that lie every second of the day? They can't even tell any oh. truth that's it's about right. it. No. Man. <laughs> lying frogs. Man. Lying spirits coming up. Man. They say right. no truth. And our people suck it up. And our children have been educated yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's right. to believe the lies. Right. Right. Not educated in the Bible. Right. Educated right. to believe the damn of the lies of the devil. That's right. And think good is evil and evil is good. Amen. And it's a spirit. Yep. And it can't be broken except by the Holy Ghost. Amen. It can't be busted except by the Word of God. Amen. It's a spirit taking right. the people of the nation. But praise God, there's a comeback coming. Yeah. Whoa, there's a comeback coming. Yeah. There's a comeback to God. There's a revival coming. There's a revival coming. There's a comeback. There's a resistance, brother. There's a resistance to these lies. There ain't no sex. There's no male or female. And you can just change her little child like this. She'd say, oh, I don't feel like a girl. I think I'll be a boy. That's a lie. You're born. You're a male or female. That's right. I've heard about some people being something wrong with them and all. But praise God, I don't care. You're born male or female. Jesus Christ has made you what you are. And you better be what you are. Amen, brother. You don't have a choice on that. You don't have a choice on that. Glory to God. Oh, Rico. My God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus. Lord. These people claiming leadership, claiming to be this religion or that religion. I'm telling you, they got the devil religion. That's right. Amen, brother. When they lie and agree with this, Hallelujah. and the Christians are being fooled. It is. It is. Christians are being fooled. Yeah, it is. You can't go along with the Amen. Satan. That's right. 
That's right. You can't compromise. Amen. Right. Again, I say, where is it in the Bible? Oh, yeah. You, yeah. you can commit right. adultery so you can kill your kid. It's not there. No man, brother. Praise right. God. I'm, I guess I've said enough on that. Hallelujah. Oh, that gets to me. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's not right. Glory. Praise God. I want to read John 21. Glory. 1 through 8. 1 through 8. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It says, After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise showed he himself. They were together. Simon Peter and Thomas called Didymus and Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee and two other of his disciples. Simon Peter, Simon Peter said unto them, I'm going fishing. I go fishing. I'm going fishing. I, we, man, I had enough of this spiritual stuff and all this terrible stuff. I'm just going fishing. Naked too. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and they say to him, "We also go fishing with you." Yeah, we t we're we're spiritually wrung out. We have seen Jesus kill. We 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 just had it. We'll go with you too. Let's go fishing. Something you know we understand. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, I mean, they fished all night. Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then Jesus said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? Did you catch anything? <laughs> they answered him, No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, Eat, and you shall find. I don't know, he's it, talking about the right side. He was talking about the right side. Whatever it's the way you were fishing, you weren't doing it right. You weren't anointed. You didn't get anywhere. You were uh, beating at the air. You weren't hitting anything. But praise God, I'm telling you now, go to the right side. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 That's right. That's Jesus is the right side. Amen. <laughs> and he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and you shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fishes. Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now yeah. when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fish's coat upon him, for he was naked. Man. He really, he wasn't wearing the priest clothes anymore. <laughs> and did cast himself into the sea. <clears throat> and the other disciples came in the little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fishes. As soon then as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon and bread. Jesus said to them, bring the fish which you have caught. Praise God. 